Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, The Real Super Sam. Today is another comic book review and I hope you enjoy. Today is Hashtag Spider-Man Sunday. Something that's a must for most superheroes is having a secret identity and Spider-Man is no stranger. Here, in just issue 12, Peter gets unmasked and by his greatest enemy, Dr. Octopus. This is a sort of two-parter since Doc Ock was in the last issue, but let's see the story. At the start, Peter Parker returns to New York with Betty and everything between them seems good. Around the world, Dr. Octopus has been committing the greatest crimes anyone has ever seen, but Doc Ock becomes bored and still wants revenge on Spider-Man. Back at school, the kids are reading the Daily Bugle again, and Peter, to protect his identity, sides with Jameson and Flash and his friends tease Parker for it. Dr. Octopus plans to go back to New York and make sure all the pieces are in place first. Dr. Octopus breaks into the Daily Bugle and kidnaps Betty, also forcing Jameson to write a note in his paper to Spider-Man, challenging him to a fight on Coney Island. Even though Peter is sick, he decides to dress up to save Betty. Peter Parker fails at fighting Dr. Octopus, and Dr. Octopus is confused at what is going on. He eventually wins and pulls off Spider-Man's mask, revealing Peter Parker. I should have known, it isn't Spider-Man, it's that weakling brat, Peter Parker. Bah, take your puny hero, he has no interest in me, it's the real Spider-Man I'm after. This scene comes up a lot in the future when Doc Ock finds out the truth. The next day, when Spider-Man gets over his sickness, he tackles Doc Ock again. Everything is going well for Spider-Man, and it eventually leads to him and Octopus tumbling off a building and crashing into an art studio. Dot accidentally starts a fire, but they keep fighting. During the fight, a giant sculpture falls on top of Doc Ock, and Spider-Man tries to save him, but can't. The floor beneath Dr. Octopus starts to collapse, so Spider-Man decides to leave. When the firefighters stop the fire, they drag out Dr. Octopus, tired and beaten. The police take it from there. In school life, Peter hears people hear about Peter Parker risking his life to save Betty Brent, and I feel everyone but Flash Thompson thinks it's heroic. For the first time, it's in this comic that Liz Allen starts to like Peter Parker and stand up for him. It happens a lot in the coming issues. The end fight is what I'd expect the fight between the two to happen in a cartoon which makes it awesome. I love Jameson here. He gets splashed with water and starts yelling at Spider-Man before he was thinking it might have been Peter Parker again, but now he's sure it isn't since he got splashed. I love the artwork in the fight and how they travel across the rooftops fighting. Before the final battle, Dr. Octopus releases a bunch of zoo animals and Spider-Man spends time putting them back. It's a waste of time and not very entertaining. Dr. Octopus is stronger here than last time, and instead of just using tricks, Spider-Man just has to beat him with sheer force. He and Doc Ock are evenly matched here, it seems. Unfortunately, there isn't much character building with Doc Ock, except him when he reveals Peter Parker, which matters later in the comics. So, that's the review. A very unique and unexpected superhero comic, even to this day. I loved everything about it, but I give it an 8 out of 10. That part with the animals escaping from the zoo was very bad for me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys, and have a good day.